today, uh, me and Mr. Boots, wearing shoes today, uh, we decided to come out to this park that was half redone. Partly I, I did section of it and uh, found a few 60s, I think 60s, maybe 50s uh, silvers, probably like three and a couple silver rings. Uh, so far, well, let's see. A little change. I think I got all kind uh, a weedy King George the Fifth, couple young Liz. But now I, I did get the, a weaker signal, about uh, I would say seven inches, good seven inches. Looks better than the, than a penny. We may have a dimer. Young Liz. Also, there's still something here. 1956. All right, sweet. We'll continue on over here? Yep. All right. I just got a Solo 32 right next to this uh, concrete. I think it could have been. Uh, uh, Either basketball court or likely a skating rink. And what could uh, come up as 32 on Equinox? Looks good so far. I think we got a silver ring. Yeah. A little bent yeah definitely it's gonna be silver I don't see any markings right now but uh, it's not super heavy it's kind of empty on the inside but uh, yeah nice silver ring sweet mark what did you just get you said kg6 yeah thanks. 22 and 22 signal I got a 22. We got a weedy. I think that's my third for the day. 49 or 40. 1940. This park actually goes back to early 1900s, so theoretically should have some some of that stuff, but haven't found any yet. All right. See you on the next. Right, so there is this area right here where we thought it was uh, possibly redone. Mark steps on it. There's a shallow signal. There was two signals. I thought one was a bottle cap. I'm like, I'll get that out of the way. Largey. <laughs> Look how deep. It wasn't even an inch deep. No. How old? Oops. 19... 11, I think. It's hard to say. 11, I think 1911. Nice. A little we crusty. We were just talking but about that. <laughs> yeah. Two seconds ago. We were just talking that this should uh, should have largies. Nice. Oh, so it is that deep. Well, I guess we're going to dig every signal yeah, here. I just passed by two. Or maybe it was just moved with dirt a little bit. <laughs> so uh, well. Nice. All right, we switched to the soccer field. I got a loony on the surface, almost on the surface. All right, that's two dollars right now. I think I got a loony at the other spot, so let's keep going. Another day, I'm with Mark in the woods. I came here before, did not really find a lot, couple older pennies. Uh, just got the week 18 looks like we got some kind of a flat button with a shank I guess that's the find of the day mm -hmm. it ain't silver but it's a flat button I don't know if that has anything else on it 
I'll have to clean it up. It's got that woodsy gunk on it. Hey, pretty decent flat button. I guess we'll continue on for a little bit until we get tired of not getting signals and maybe we'll go to a grassy park somewhere. All right, so we switched to a nearby park that was totally panned, but to, we decided to hit like a hill area that we were not sure about. We didn't get, did you get any signals? I got a penny on the surface. Now I got the uh, 24, about 24, 25 signal. When I pulled it out, looks like we got a dime. So it's game on. Young Liz. Nice. 1962. Sweet. All right, time to recap the hunt. Did get the 1982 D Lincoln, but unfortunately it's a large date, so it's not really worth much. A uh, couple of older knickknacks, uh, older key, half buckle, and uh, this little fake jewelry piece. Um, all the older pennies, um, young Liz, um, 1967, KG6, and four wheat cents. I don't think there are any older wheat cents. Um, did uh, hunt quite a bit of fur clad. I did get a total of $18 of clad, including the last row here that's uh, coinage made out of nickel from uh, 68 onwards. Actually, there's I think 65 there too. Uh, A couple European, well, one European coin, 10 uh, pence, don't remember, I think from the 70s, and 1968, 10 centimos from uh, Philippines, let's take a closer look, we don't get these foreign coins often. Philippines, 1968. There it is. And the best finds. After we zoom out. Um, 1957 nickel. So the oldest nickel from the hand. A flat button from the woods. And that's the only thing I got there. Always nice to get a flat button. And three silvers. 62 and 56 dimes. And this uh, lovely 9 to 5 ring. I think it has uh, some, I believe, garnet stones. They're kind of very dark colored. A little bit uh, open to the inside, so not really tons of weight. I think it uh, weighs a little bit over three grams, but it's a silver ring, and uh, I straightened it out uh, fairly easily, so that's good too. All right, so that wraps it up, and uh, I'll see you on the next night to find our adventure. Take care. Have a great week.